Aquarius. Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading guys. This may or may not resonate with every Aquarius watching this video. Some of the energies of the cards are going to be flipped. So be free to switch those energies, vice versa. Time is fluid as you know. You could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. What I'm getting Aquarius is that I think you're ending a long-term commitment or a long-term relationship with someone, okay? I don't think your relationship could have reached a point of stability or security or there's a lot of disharmony within the relationship. You could have waited and waited and waited for this person to probably get your relationship to that point of commitment or marriage or stability within the marriage, okay? But I think you're giving up. You're no more waiting for this to get. I mean, for you, it's almost like I'm getting like, you know, this relationship it's a long-term investment that you've done and it's just not coming into fruition okay you can, you're waiting for the fruits of your labor and it's just not happening something's just been a big fat disappointment for you like a bad investment probably okay but yeah with the four of wands and reverse here again this is you shutting the door in someone's face let's see For my it could also mean that maybe you were wanting a long-term commitment with this person and you gave this person a lot of time and things just didn't come into fruition okay what happened in the past queen of pentacles in reverse lack of stability security this person could be someone who was interested in everything but a relationship, okay? Or this could just be someone who's very, very focused on their work, their career, their goals, their money. But someone at the same time who's not very practical, someone who's not very grounded, okay? This person could be having a lot, of, they could be juggling a lot of balls in the air or they could just be doing, like, you know, very disorganized also, okay, at the same time. But someone very immature. Six of Cups in reverse. Because this person was so immature, right? So I'm getting uh, Aquarius, you could be wanting a relationship from someone who's very immature very immature or someone who's just very focused on they're not focused on stability let's just say that okay they're not focused on stability they're focused on themselves it's all about me 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 so you're dealing with someone who's very selfish and self-centered okay you could be in love with this person this person could also be in love with you all right but again whatever happened the breakup the separation that happened it's left a bad taste in your mouth okay you're holding a grudge against this person What's the biggest challenge or influence here is the king of wands in reverse. So you want this person to take action, but this person is just someone who's either playing it very cool or this is someone who's just not taking the entire relationship seriously. The king of wands in reverse in the other sense can also be someone, you know, who's just very indecisive. This person doesn't know what they want or this is someone who's lacking the confidence to take action to pursue you. All right. And that's just pissing you off is what I'm getting. But you could have been with this person for a very long time, okay, because you have nostalgia about bad memories though. What's on your mind, Five of Cups? See, you're super, super disappointed, okay? You're super disappointed with this person, okay? You're focusing your energy too much on the past of what didn't work out, all right? And um, let me tell you, um, Aquarius, with the Five of Cups here, it is the card of depression. You're almost slipping into depression if you stay in this energy for too long, okay? And then that leads to inaction, all right? So, yeah. You need to get out of this low vibrational energy. I understand. It can be very tough, but yeah. You're, you're leading to something which is going to be very difficult for you to come out if you stay in that, okay? And because if you stay in that for a very long time, okay, there are chances that you're going to miss out other potential relationships also, okay? Because again, a lot of crying over spilt milk, a lot of crying over what did work out in the past, okay? It's like almost I'm getting Aquarius with you. It's like, okay, well, that didn't go the way I expected it to be. All this because you could be deal, dealing with someone who's very non-committal or someone who's just not taking action because they were lacking confidence, not being brave enough, not being bold enough to take an action or pursue you, okay? And that in turn has, again, you, you're just very angry with this person. Again, very spiteful and you just have bad memories about this person. The root of the issue is the Nine of Pentacles, all right? So again, Scorpio. Why did I say Scorpio? You could be dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. I don't know why I said that. Okay, Aquarius. So I think... Uh, the biggest reason out here is that you're dealing with someone who's coming on a snail towards you, okay? This person is moving extremely, extremely slow towards you, okay? And for you, it's like, now, 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 let's do this now. We've been together for two years, three years, four years, whatever, okay? Now, what are you doing? Are you even making a move towards me or not? But you're dealing with someone who's very, very methodical, someone very slow, okay? This is not on a horse. Actually, they're literally on a snail, okay? 
they're coming towards you but they're very slow and you probably are like i cannot wait this is this is too much too much waiting game i cannot do this what you'll experience in the near future magician in reverse so i feel that you're going to stop manifesting this person or you're just losing faith in this connection or whether you can even make this happen or not okay you could be manifesting this person manifesting this relationship for a very long time yeah so with the magician in reverse i feel that you're doubting yourself a lot okay you're doubting or oh, this is the person that you're dealing with okay who's doubting themselves that they can make this happen with you it's almost like i'm getting like you know like this person uh feels that they do not have everything that they need to make things work out with you okay again they're they're being uh, <laughs> it could also be someone you know who is just not willing to take action all right again all because they're doubting themselves they don't know if if they can make this happen i'm getting a lot of self doubt here what you're doing aquarius here is with the judgment here i think you're let's see i still don't want to say anything okay so with the judgment and the eight of swords in your emotions okay i think you want with the judgment here i think that you want a second chance with this person or this person wants a second chance with you okay but with the eight of swords here i think that this person is very trapped in their head okay yeah so with the judgment and the eight of swords okay so i feel that you want a second chance with this person or this is uh, the other person who's wanting a second chance with you okay but with the eight of swords here again i'm feeling this person is not sure if they can make things happen okay this person is thinking of the worst scenario that can happen with you okay it's like a lot of self doubt again the magician in reverse like i said right a lot of can i make this happen will this person take me back or not okay or thinking of a lot of negativity rather than being positive and trying to you know the eight of swords is an energy with someone's having a lot of self limiting beliefs okay so only they can come out of their way This is right now. They're in their own way. With the judgment here, this person wants a second chance with you, or this could be you, Aquarius, who's wanting a second chance with this person, but you're just not sure if this person is going to give you that second chance or not. In your environment, with the Four of Pentacles in Reverse, I feel there's a situation where someone's detached. You could have held on to this person for a very long time, okay, Aquarius. You could have been holding them to your chest, very, very close to you, okay. It's like very stubborn. I'm not letting you go. I'm refusing to let go. You were very attached to this person, but I think finally you're releasing this person, okay. Almost like releasing whatever, um, whatever you once deemed to be very stable and secure, you're finally letting it go. And with the uh, with the Knight of Swords and Reverse as your likely outcome, I feel that there is a lack of forward moment here, or there could just be a missed opportunity. Only and only and only because two things: one, because this person's moving forward very very slowly. Okay, they're moving very slowly towards you, baby steps. Second, this person's just not taking action, and thirdly, this person has a lot of self limiting beliefs. They're doubting themselves if they can make make it happen or not. Okay, let's clarify. Clap for the four of wands in reverse. Clap for the four of wands in reverse. See, now that you've shut the door on this person's face, right? They want to come in with the Knight of Cups here. This person's coming in to apologize. They're coming in to open up, emotionally vulnerable. But with the Ace of Wands in reverse here, I don't know if it's the right time, Aquarius, or it's just that I I don't think you're feeling the connection because it's uh I'm getting that this person is finally coming in. But it's like you've shut the door already. For you, it's like, why are you even coming back now? You didn't do it when I wanted you to. Yeah, they're coming in, but I don't know if you're going to take them because you're you're not feeling the connection anymore. Your passion is dead for this person. Okay. What is the six of cups in reverse? What is the six of cups in reverse? Five of pentacles. You have bad memories, and you're leaving this person out in the cold. Okay. Over the two of swords, you are. I think you are stuck in your head, or they are stuck in their head. Someone stuck in their head. I'm, I'm getting that with the two of swords, and more than stuck in their head, I'm getting that you are blocking your emotions. You are blocking your heart chakra. You are blocking your emotions because you are fearing getting hurt. You are letting this person go. Okay, you are leaving this person out in the cold. But again, you are blocking yourself completely from this person because this person's already hurt you in the past, and now you are in no mood to get hurt again. What is the five? What is the why is the why is the king of wands in reverse? Yeah, this person wasn't taking action, and now they're ready to come in and take action. Okay, with the six of pentacles here, this person wants an equal give and take. They could be giving you the bare minimum in the in the past, or this would this was a very one-sided situation. Okay, but yeah, 
now this person wants to put in the effort they want to put in the work now that you're releasing this person now that you're letting them go they want a second chance with you but they're very stuck in their head again can i make it happen with aquarius are they going to take me back is it going to work out a lot of negative thoughts a lot of fear-based thoughts is what i'm getting but yeah now this person wants to come in and they want to be very reciprocal with you okay they want to give you what you deserve yeah i'm getting they want to give you what you deserve this person is wants to give you what they owe you because you could have done a lot of queries in this relationship why is the five of cups here yeah because things just didn't pan out the way you wanted it to with a higher punch in reverse here you again i'm dealing i'm seeing that you you could be dealing with someone who just was commitment phobic or someone who is non committal whatever right but yeah this is someone who likes to break away from tradition they don't like to follow the rule book and that's something that has been a very disappointing situation for you because from the beginning you always wanted to with this person and this person probably refused to give it to you and you could have waited and waited and waited the ace of cups the two of cups the three of cups then it became to the four of cups where there was a lack of um where there was a lot of discontentment a lot of uh, um complacent behavior a lot of dissatisfaction and then it's finally reached the five of cups where you were like i'm done i'm done i cannot wait any longer what is the knight of pentacles i for the knight of pentacles wow so many cards what is the knight of pentacles Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Okay, so I think with the Judgment in Reverse here, I feel you. This is Knight of Pentacles. This is you. I think you're the one who's probably two ways. I'm seeing it. Okay, definitely you don't want to repeat your past mistakes. Okay, you don't want to give this. I'm getting there is no chance of a second opportunity here with you. If this person's coming in, or if you want this, or if you want to give this to the other person, with the Knight of Pentacles, I think this person is wanting to come in. very slowly towards you and with the six of swords here i'm getting you they want to move into karma waters with you okay they want to move forward with you they want to get into a better place with you okay they want a peaceful resolution but they're coming in slow but i think with the six of swords here i'm feeling that you have already moved on already moved on judgment in reverse that you went into things with this person you went into things with this person this could have been something very long coming you know aquarius You almost got a lot of signs from the universe that you needed to do it, okay? But probably you were prolonging the situation for a very long time, and finally you're letting it go. What is the judgment? They have the judgment, I think, on their side, and you have the judgment in reverse. So yeah, they now want to come in and offer you stability and security, and they want to offer this to you. In the past, they were the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, someone who didn't want to offer stability, security. Now they're coming in. They want a second chance with you, Aquarius. They want a second chance with you. They're coming in with something stable, something solid, something committed. What is the Four of Pentacles in reverse? What is the Four of Pentacles in reverse? Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel that you're releasing this person, but the moment you release this person, they're coming in. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. Again, you're dealing with someone Aquarius who's making very, very slow-moving baby steps towards you. Okay, so don't expect this person to come in rushing towards you. Okay, whether it's an apology, whether it's something stable, this person is just not going to rush. In, okay, they like to take their own time. They're very methodical. Okay. Yes, when this person always reaches their goals, okay, they are coming in. It's just about time. It's just a matter of time, okay, when they come in, okay. But you, if you are not ready to wait, this person has disappointed you in the past, okay. So yeah, there is a lot of issues between you guys. You you have a bad taste in your mouth. This person has done a lot of things that have that has really pissed you off. They didn't take action on that. Whatever, okay. But yeah, they're coming in. The moment you release this person, they're coming in. But they're coming in very slow. That's the only issue here. Nine of Cups. It's going to be like a wish fulfillment. Okay, you're their wish fulfillment, or for you, if it's a wish, it's coming true. It's coming true. They make you, you make them very happy. What is the Eight of Swords? What is the Eight of Swords? Yeah, they're trapped in their head about taking action. See, with the King of Wands here, whoever this person is, right? Whoever was coming in to offer you stability, Aquarius. So this could be you, right? You're trapped in your head about taking action. It's almost like you know what? I think you're finally wanting to get out of your head, but it's still going to take some time. You're still stuck. 
in that negative zone, in that low vibrational energy, where you know that you're creating your own issues, okay? You're creating your own, you, you need to come out of your, you need to come into your senses. You need a splash of cold water, okay? You need to listen to your intuition. You need to stop listening so much to other people's opinions also at the same time, or you just need to stop listening to other people or taking their opinions or taking um, any other people's experiences, okay? You need to trust yourself. If you feel the connection. There's so much chemistry here. There's so much chemistry here with the King of Wands here, all right? They're coming in, for sure. They want to take action towards you. They want to offer you the King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. They want to offer you stability. They want to take action towards you. But again, Two of Swords stuck in their head, blocking themselves. I think you're blo both blocked. I think it's a stalemate, you know. You're both at a stalemate. What is the Knight of Swords? Uh, why is the Magician in reverse here? Okay, too many cards. I'm not going to take those, but that was very scary. Why is the Magician in reverse? Back to the Magician in reverse. Okay. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Hermit in reverse. Yes, this person wants to come in. They are coming in, okay? But again, they're coming in with a lot of manipulative energy is what I'm getting, okay? With the Magician in reverse here. This person wants to make it happen, but they feel they don't have everything that they need to make it happen with you. Of course, because they fucked it up with you. They messed things up, right? So now they're like, I don't know if Aquarius is going to take me back, okay? They could, have, they could have isolated you, okay? Or you could be in a hermit mode right now, or they could be vomiting from you, okay? They're coming out of that hermit mode. They're wanting to invest with in this relationship they wanted to work towards you in this relationship and with the three of pentacles here they're ready for this commitment they're like ready for growth they want to build with you okay but i see temperance here so something's going to require why up the first card something's going to require a lot of patience aquarius if you're ready to wait it's going to require a lot of time one thing we need to realize aquarius is that divine timing is not our timing okay so yeah the divining of, the divine is at work behind the scenes if you're ready to wait, if you have patience, if you're going to keep focusing on yourself and do you, I guess it's going to come in. Like I said, right? Four of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. The moment you release, you detach from the situation or this person, that's when it per that's when this person comes in. Again, I'm getting a lot of time to wait. It's going to be a lot of waiting if you're ready to wait. But yeah, the Knight of Pentacles always reaches its goal, okay? So they're just very methodical. They just don't want to make a mistake, okay? This is someone who's very, not someone very immature, not someone very extremely mature, okay? So they're learning. They're falling and learning is what I'm getting. They're learning their lessons. Why the Knight of Swords in reverse? However, I see that there's a lack of forward movement here. Someone's not still not rushing in. Ten of Swords in reverse. So yeah, that's a lot of healing. With the Eights of Swords here, I feel you're, you're going to get clarity. Now again, with the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Swords in reverse, a lot of holding back. So I think there's someone who's holding back and with the Ten of Swords in reverse, I think there's someone who's trying to heal from this betrayal or backstabbing, okay? There's a lack of forward movement here, not rushing into something. Again, so I feel that when this person comes into it, I think you're going to be the one, again, you could be someone who's, who's always been very impulsive. Okay, you've always made a very reckless, impulsive decision, acting without thinking. But this time you're holding back because you're trying to heal from this backstabbing or betrayal, whatever the situation was, okay? But the good part here with the Ten of Swords in reverse here, what I'm getting is that you're not putting yourself in that victim position anymore, you know? You don't feel that you're the one, you know, who's... Um, you, you're not being a martyr anymore, is what I'm getting. Like, yeah, this person could have really screwed you or they could have done the worst things, okay? You were in this energy for a very long time, five of cups, yes. But I think that you're taking your own time this time. When this person comes in, you're not rushing into it. You're going to give yourself time to heal from this. And again, this I, I feel this relationship is going to come back from the brink of failure, you know? I think it's going to come back, but there's going to be some time before that happens, okay? Ace of Swords. Four of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, so much waiting, so much waiting. That's a lot of waiting, Aquarius. They're coming in. They're coming with the clarity. They're coming in with this breakthrough, okay? But yeah, before they come in, there's going to be a lot of waiting game going on. So yeah, if you're ready to wait, then they're coming in. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.